Hey, what's going on, everyone? And we're back with another review. Today's review is going to be on Aaron Clocker from the Cartridge Dyke I signed in 2017. Obviously, Aaron Clocker is in an online exclusive gift pack. It's like a dot com pack. I got this off of Amazon for $20, which is a great deal because it includes five cars, and usually cars are like $4. So when you do that, it's like $20. So it's a really good price. I mean, it is a normal price if you would buy five singles. So I like how they did that in overpriced. I only need one from the set, which is the Aaron, which is Aaron Clocker, the Next Generation Revolting Racer. He's the only one we'll be reviewing in this video. Now, before we get into this, I have a funny story to tell you. So, I was just recently recording my review of the Tailgate and Sigler 2-pack, but then I got a notification when I cut the video that the Aaron Clocker 5-pack was at my front door, so I quickly ran downstairs because I really wanted to get Aaron Clocker. I finally got him, and I just have to stop. I had to stop that video. I already finished that one clip, but the other two clips will have to wait because I just want to get this done super fast as I want to get Aaron out of the plastic case because I was super excited to get him as I've wanted him for quite a long time and I finally got him so let's open this up right here of course here is the little paper thing that it comes with this shows all the die casts included taco jackson storm aaron clocker fabulous lightning mcqueen that is the prototype version where he has the dynical sponsors on him and chickens with headset there's of course a typical bio that explains what the car scene was about and you can go and pause and read that and here we have the pack so I'll cut right now so you guys can, or I'll, so I can get the plastic out. Alright, once, well, so like I said, here are all the cars that comes in the set. And now this taco is actually a matte variant too, so I guess I needed two of the cars in the set. But we're mainly focusing on this awesome guy right here. Next Generation Revolting Racer. So I'll cut right now when I have every single car out of their little plastic case and we'll get around to review of it. Alright, once well, so I'm back with all the five cars here out of the plastic case, I'm just going to give a 360 of Taco, Jackson, Storm, Fabulous, Light McQueen, and Chick Kicks with heads up because I know no one cares about them. And I've already reviewed those four in other videos. And if you want to check them out, just look in my Car Street Diecast Reviews playlist. They should be somewhere in there. So let's get on to the 360 of them and then we'll get right on to the review of Aaron Clocker. Alright, everyone, so let's go right on to a review of this awesome next-gen Aaron Clocker. So he has this very serious expression on him, like most of the next-gens do have. He looks super serious, determined to win. You can see his green eyes fly. I love how the light shines off of his paint. I love that. You can see, like, that silver portion right there. Revolting. There's, like, a little lightning strike there that goes from the E. I really do like that. Well, that was on the Cars 1 stock car and Cars 3 stock car, too. Underneath revolting is super hard to read, but it does say rebuild alternators because that was the slogan for the Cars 1 stock car and Cars 3 stock car as well. So I assume that's what it says. 48 on the side right here, a little bright red portion right there. You can see light ear and white text on the tires. Super hard to read, I know, but it is stretched out, like super stretched out on the tires. So it is super hard to read, but trust me, it does say light ear. As I can see, we have red right there, a white stripe, and then a black stripe again going toward the back, and then going back here. 48, his engine. His additional physical sponsor is super hard to read because it blends in with the coloring, but let's try to zoom in on this. It reads Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon, Cyber, and Synergy. Those are the normal um, additional Piston Cup sponsors for the next gens. Revolting on the... Spoiler right here, the spoiler is black. It's also black on the sides. There's his gas cap. He's, you can see his rookie stripes, because obviously he is a rookie. Revolting, and I think there's something right there. Yeah, 48, and his tail lights. This side is... Actually, it's different. This side right here is back. Like, the design is in the back right here. And in this one, the design's actually, like, right in the middle. So, I do like that a lot on him. Very nice. And, of course, you can see his headlights and grill. And he also has a black base and some Mattel information on it. Of course, in the movie, he appeared at some of the Piston Cup races. Not all of the Piston Cup races. I'm not sure one he replaced TG. Actually, he was actually one of the mo first Next Gens to come in. Because I remember six Next Gens came after Storm. And Aaron was one of them. So, t so he was actually one of the first Next Gens to get onto the circuit. 
But he was just a background racer, never had any speaking lines. So yeah, just a background racer. But I'm glad that they released him. But I think he's actually exclusive to his gift pack, the dot com pack. I mean, only time will tell. But I think he might actually be an exclusive to the set. So keep in mind if you want to pass on the set in hopes that Aaron will be released as a single. Here he is with Harvey Rodcap. The reason why I'm showing him with Harvey Rodcap, because these are the two next gens that were released in dot-com gift packs. This one was in a 10-pack. This one was in a 5-pack. They look kind of good together, considering they're both online exclusive cards. Let me know in the comment section down below if you prefer Aaron Clocker or the next generation Easy Idol, which is Harvey Rodcap. And now let's get on to the evolution of Revolting. Here is basically the evolution of Revolting over 11 years. You got your Cars 1 stock card, Davy Apex. Your Cars 3 stock card, TG Casanova, who eventually got your place in the movie by Aaron Clocker, the next gen Revolting Racer. Now, there is a fourth Revolting Racer coming in 2018 next year, a part of the 2018 mainline. That is Leroy Newing, the old school racer that Doc flipped over back when he was racing. He is sponsored by Revolting, so that will make four Revolting Racers. So that is actually really cool. Now we're getting another revolting racer, so I cannot wait to get that one. Then we can compare him to these three revolting racers right here. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if you prefer Davy Apex, TG Casano, or Aaron Clocker as your favorite revolting racer. So let's get on to a 360 of Aaron Clocker so you guys can see all of his main features up close. And that'll be the end of the video. Alright everyone, so that, so that is going to do it for the video here. Hope everyone here to watch and enjoy. Thank you guys so much for your crazy support recently. Let me know your rating on the diecast of Aaron Clocker. Hope you all can get him if you have not yet. And I'll see you guys all next time in my next review. Peace.